All right, this whole ordeal is quite hypocritical of April Ryan, who made a name for herself at White House press briefings demanding accountability. Has the president at any time thought about stepping down before or now? Uh, no, and I think that's an absolutely ridiculous no, question. Not, it's not ridiculous. I gave you two questions, April. We're moving on. Jordan, go ahead. It's not ridiculous. I let you rudely interrupt me and your colleague. Sorry, I'm going to ask that you allow me to finish my answer. Sarah, is voter suppression Sorry. included with Guys, that, please? If we could go on, I'm just asking you a question because you choose not to call on me. John, go ahead. Oh, you're not going to answer that. If voter I call suppression you, is a huge issue that the community question. in America John, has ahead. asked about. You're not going to answer me. John, go ahead. That's all right. Fine. Back with me now is Dan Bongino, Fox News contributor, and Chris Hahn, former Chuck Schumer aide and host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast. Dan, imagine if Sarah Sanders had treated April Ryan the way April Ryan treated this guy. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, oh, my God. People be calling for Sarah to be in handcuffs right now. Are you kidding me? Do you understand, Jesse, how embarrassing this story is? So you, she works for a network, April Ryan, that has promoted a baseless conspiracy theory against the president for now close to, what, two and a half years, right? Lies about the president. While that network complains about the president being an enemy of the press they're lying about, while the same president does... Jesse, have you ever... You've been in a, at Fox a while. Have you ever seen a president do as many pressers is this guy <laughs> every time he jumps on marine one he answers 200 questions i know on he, the he's South the most Lawn. transparent and president we've ever had i've never seen anything like it yeah so I mean, his staff thinks he's too transparent the <laughs> i know right while their employee goes out and manhandles a press guy for just setting up a camera i mean the irony here is as thick as pea soup it's really a bad look <laughs> for cnn chris uh you know jim acosta someone sneezes and he writes a book about about how he's under siege. They have someone physically manhandling a reporter who's on their own team, kind of ideologically, and they bury it and don't want to talk about it, pretend like it never happened. So I will say, I'll give you the point. It was embarrassing, and I don't think that reporter should have been thrown out like that. I don't know the full situation. I don't know if this was a speech that had closed press or open well, press. Well, you heard him say there remember. were other photographers there documenting yeah, I, the speech. I, 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 heard him, I heard him say it, but I don't know what the, I don't know the full story here, and I don't think you do either. But I will point this out. You know, there really is a big difference between the president of the United States and the press secretary and a reporter giving a private oh, speech. You guys understand the difference between sure. the president, right? Who is? Yeah, all, yeah. I understand the difference. The press. And, and now I'm just, you know, Chris. Reporter, Chris, and a report. Hold on, I'm hold just, on, fellas. I'm and just a reporter giving a speech that might have been a paid speech. And Jesse, I don't know if you know anybody who's given a paid speech. They usually have a contract that says who can and cannot be there, and they're not open to the press. They're okay, well, it was open to the press because he was the only one booted and not have it on, online. And Dan, all the time. I'm worried so, about. I'm wondering why that she didn't want this guy there. What was April Ryan going to say? It was so secret and so private. I, I know, like, April Ryan's got, like, the nuclear football in the back <laughs> right. room, and she was going to be roofing. Yeah, does I she, mean, does she have break. edgy material that she doesn't want to get out there? I mean, come on. Right, like, what are you going to tell, like, I Br just Brady press room war stories? <laughs> I mean, give me a break. It's a total joke. And Chris, come on, listen. If you were in the political world, I was in the Secret Service world. You know they intersect. We've both done events. Don't be naive about this. You know this was handled completely wrong. You never. It, ever I put your mitts that. on people, oh. steal their stuff, and then uh, roughhouse a guy in the lot. I mean, this is oh. the biggest rookie move ever. CNN, man, brother, you need to seriously reevaluate uh, your security. I, I ahead, this is embarrassing. I conceded that point at the beginning right, of my rant. It it was it mishandled. <laughs> but uh, I, let me just answer Jesse's question to you. Yeah. When people give speeches for a living, they don't want them recorded because they want to give that speech somewhere else. So this you know guy what, might Chris? Have, I, I, I use new material. And they go, we I, I use new material. Guys. I'm not going to recycle stuff to a different person. Oh, I, you know, use new I always new have fresh every stuff. City, every speech you I give, always Jesse. have Come fresh on, stuff. Come to my next That's speech. Right. I won't <laughs> kick you out, I promise. Before we get to the end, I want to play a soundbite from I'm this MSNBC it. kook. This is from the same kook that accused the President of the United States of raising and lowering the flag according to Nazi numerology. Here's his latest salvo against Trump supporters. Roll it. Well, this is why it's so important to look through the, the lens of radicalization when you look at this president and, and then apply counter-radicalization techniques. 
He demands that loyalty, and they are loyal. So if you call Trump followers racist and mass, they simply coalesce around each other and become even more defensive and protective of the leader, just as they would in, say, a terrorist organization to compare to the radicalization process. Dan, the media just compared Trump voters to terrorists. You know... I can't believe this guy is still allowed on the air. Yeah. This is the 8-8 numerology, astrology yeah. guy yeah. who found in the Gemini quadrant <laughs> yeah. of the sector a white supremacist meeting yeah. and the half staff lowering at the White House. How this guy is still on the air is bizarre. But, Jesse, the bigger story here is not about Frank Fuglisi. I, I, I mean, FBI, FBI who he's, I think he's left. FBI should, P, PR should tell this guy to stop using their name. It's really a story about MSNBC who is willing to put completely lunatics on the air who will say absolutely yep. anything at any time as long as it makes Trump look bad. Chris, that's what this is about. They've lost the momentum since the Russia hoax evaporated. That was run on an entirely fake premise. It was a conspiracy theory. The ratings have suffered. So now they yeah. keep on having to put tin foil hat flamethrowers out there so the audience gets their fix from their you know, the Trump derangement syndrome. I look, that guy is a little kooky. I will give you that. But that's one Chris, guy. Chris, you're great you tonight. You're conceding every point. Media. <laughs> you can't be you can't paint the entire media with a broad brush based on one analyst. What if everybody on Fox News painted Fox News by what I said? <laughs> just, just give me a break. Come well on. listen, I'm Chris. just saying terrorists <laughs> attack innocent people. And that's exactly what MSNBC is doing. They're attacking innocent I, American knock it off. voters. Come on. All right. Now you're doing the same thing. That's you're doing the, the truth. Same thing. I'm just knock using their you're, words you're against them. All right. You're... Let's knock it off. All right. You can't be a Nazi, a sexist, a racist, and a terrorist. You know, it's too much. Just stick to one, guys. Maybe. Right. <laughs> so, he agreed with us twice tonight, by the way. All right. I, I know. We're going to have him back now. All right.